Hello. So we're gonna go through the portfolio of Ricardo. I've never seen a Ricardo with double C, but I like the name. So a great start. I loved your portfolio. I looked at all the pages and usually what I would do just to go through to see how many projects you have and if it's like too much or too little and I love your profile portfolio it's pretty cool it's uh, it has a lot of good stuff in it for the start I would put like uh, except for your name I would put just something as a, just something about you like a website a QR code or just oh, sorry uh, anything that we connect us to you somehow because uh, I know we can look up your name, but eventually if we find this page, I don't think we know who it belongs to unless it's on a website or something. Uh, beautiful rendered. I love your style. You clearly know a lot about how to paint the light. You clearly know about composition and your work is very strong and congratulations. It's amazing. So let's start with this project. Um, uh, I uh, love that uh, you, uh, I mean, you are p clearly presenting yourself as someone that likes light and color and exploring different, uh, yeah, like you are very bold with colors. I really love that because it's my favorite thing. Uh, so about this work, I saw the process. It's amazing that you share how you thought and like all the different you not only you're showing different camera angles but also different color keys and um, so this is really cool uh, here uh, like there is so much happening here I love that something just this tree is jump something magical is happening like a portal is opening and then we have this character two character here and uh, looking at each other and I love this style. Mm, the only thing I thought of is just to see this. You have like a source of light here, uh, of a purple light. And I would, I think this source of light, like if you get something like a flashlight next to yourself, like with this a uh, big of a saturation, like it seems like it's bright. It will affect more the character and even this area, right? So I, I. I think I would see more of this character and a little bit like like a lot more of this character and that's what I think with this light source so if I zoom out I think you can also clearly see that this is almost as bright as this tree and see how the three this light is affecting everywhere and how is li this life is affecting here so uh, I think that would be something that I just think about like how I can create if you don't want this to happen if you want everybody to only look at here then you need to make sure this is not as bright or if you like this to be bright then all this area will be completely visible so that's something that came into my mind when I looked at this work uh, but overall amazing work I love it I love your exploration of the trees and how you explained everything and how you're trying to say what, how people find a light source and this is a great painting I mean when I zoom in the texture are incredible I'm not sure why it's not loading but look at the texture beautiful it's just absolutely beautiful the style the exploration everything is fantastic here we have a little bit of more of the characters I like this just just inky smoky thing that coming out it connects the whole body this is a really cool idea and then we have Katrina and then Hichapo I'm not sure sorry if I'm not saying it right but uh, I like the characters oops I like that uh, yeah you have great design these are more to me anime like and oh it's a sleepy hole okay then uh, I think uh, when you rendered it here completely gave me a different vibe because I thought they're more anime but when you rendered I realized you had another 
style in mind and the render is painted beautifully i love the exploration of the color and the character drawing and everything you did like the gadgets and stuff it's amazing i'm not gonna just have some extra unnecessary comments because i think your work is beautiful your weapon design is fantastic your render is great and all this little detail that you think about and yeah these are amazing i love that you've thought about designing all these elements these are great the attacks are fantastic i love it and how you imagine that in a scene is fantastic this work is also very very fun uh, when i watched how you uh, proceed it also shows a lot about how good you are at concepting and maybe just keep all the environments and characters and props and effects just in order because uh, this is like you had one here and you had like one here with exploration i i'm it's maybe it's just a personal opinion it's not a big deal honestly but i would just keep it all in order so when i see the environment I see it all when I see the character, I see them all when I see the props and effect, I see them all. Uh, so there won't be a jump in subject, but in general, that might be my only personal OCD. And it's not something that it can affect greatly your portfolio. So we have a lot of more exploration. I love this style. Yeah, you clearly have a good taste and we can see what kind of uh, project you like to work in. We have other projects, we have this sci-fi looking, it's a great addition because it is important that people see you are interested in different topics and I think this completely shows your ability to just do more of like a uh, different environment and mechanics and just uh, you are a great concept artist. I can tell you this is amazing addition and this one i'm not sure when i saw this one because it looks cute but uh you have a lot more i mean you already showed us what you can do and what you can imagine and a, a lot more complex scene so um even with the color uh exploration color keys i'm not sure why uh you're adding this this is just something that is your favorite thing to do because i don't think this is necessary in your portfolio and um, uh, what because you clearly are good at complexing which shows a lot more uh, capability and then we have this flat illustrations uh, with just some simple lightings i wouldn't keep this in the portfolio but if you have more projects that if you want like more like cartoony projects or more fun and simple project i would add them but this to me doesn't add to your portfolio. It's a great work, but you did here you showed me like a lot more and here a lot more that what you can do. I don't need to see this. So if you have, uh, so when you say other projects, uh, I would say this is great that you have a sci-fi project. And if you wanna add another project like with a different like topic or environment, just add the, add that project but I think this one mm, uh, or or if you want to keep this like more generated just go ahead and share more about this uh, but a flat background with a just a character very rough mm. yeah I think you can do a lot more so you already shared in your portfolio this is great you have all the information about yourself yeah great portfolio and um, just make sure that because your portfolio is targeting some specific uh, style and uh, I think uh, if you want to be in like more cartoony style unless you're realistic style sorry about the noise uh, try also to add some of those if uh, I'm not sure because I'm looking at these two and I think maybe you want you like to also work on project with different style but if you do just uh, you can add it to your portfolio otherwise if 
for example, you apply for uh, an animation company who makes cartoons for kids, or uh, I know you have the ability to do it, but I cannot. You're not showing it through your portfolio. So a little bit of variety, uh, if you want, if that's what you want, mm, would be nice. But if this is the, because it can just mm, limit your uh, reach, right? But if this is only the only thing you want to do, then just uh, stick to this. And I think your portfolio is great. And um, I don't have more comments, so I'm just going to leave this here. And I hope it helps. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.